Hi there, Scott Francis, editor of Composites World. I'm here with Elevated Materials. I'm talking with Ryan Oligas. Um, we're talking about some of their parts that they create from recycled ca carbon fiber materials. Um, recently, you guys had an announcement that to uh, you were working with Torre to collect some of these reclaimed um, carbon fiber scraps. Uh, tell us a bit about what you're doing. Yeah, so we just recently announced our partnership with Torre to collect and upcycle the material out of their Tacoma facility. And we're taking that material and converting it into large billet laminate. So the block we're making right now is 12 inch by 12 inch by six inches thick. And then we saw cut that down into different sizes that can be loaded onto a CNC mill and then cut into any type of part. So, so these are like pre preg scraps that you guys uh, right. collect and put together. Right. And so it's all uncured pre preg scrap and then we're compression molding it into various parts. So some of those parts end up, actually the project got started with a uh, manufacturing a putter head for golf company, LA Golf. We got um, originally started with a laminate product, but the laminate was fairly expensive, stacking up hundreds of layers to get to a block that was of a, the right thickness. So we came up with a, another method of producing a block by smashing fiber to make what we're calling marble billet. And it's a lot faster and easier to produce. It's very well suited for recycling uh, any type of pre-preg material. So making use of the fiber and the resin to create a laminate that can be cut into anything. Let's talk a little bit about the impact that some of this um, type of approach can have. Okay, with this type of approach, we can pull any type of production trim scrap that's uncured. So from a ply cutter table, dirt from a pre-pregging line, just about any uncured pre-preg material can be taken into our process, preformed into uh, forms and then compression molded into stock material. So how much scrap are you uh, diverting from the landfill right now? So this year we're going to divert somewhere in the range of 50 to 100,000 pounds of material from the landfill. And all that material is getting processed into billet form. Um, Ryan, thanks so much for taking the time to talk to us. It seems like a great way to um, reuse some of this uh, material and um, keep it from going to waste. Yeah, thanks for coming by. We're you know, happy to have an impact here. Awesome. Thanks. Nice to see you.